Here we'll go over an example where a strong acid is mixed with a strong base and we calculate the pH of the final mixture. We're given that 150 milliliters of 0 0.200 molar SRoH2 is added to 350 milliliters of 0 0.100 molar HNO3 and we're asked to calculate the pH of the final mixture. We'll point out something important here. Strontium hydroxide is a strong base and its formula SRoH2 has two OHs in it. So when we write the balanced association equation for SRoH2, we see that there are two moles of OH- for each mole of SRoH2. We can use this as a conversion factor. We'll start by calculating the initial moles of OH- added. We take 0 0.200 moles of SRoH2 per liter, multiply it by the conversion factor 2 moles of OH- over 1 mole of SRoH2, and by 0 0.150 liters. We rounded this to three significant figures to save room here. The concentration 0 0.200 moles per liter is only three significant figures. So the answer to this calculation is limited to three significant figures. When we multiply all three numbers, we get 0 0.0600 moles. So the initial moles of OH- added is 0 0.0600 moles. Notice this is expressed to three significant figures, which is consistent with the given data. Our next step is to calculate the initial moles of H+, added. The H+, comes from the strong acid nitric acid, or HNO3. Each HNO3 releases one proton. So we take 0 0.100 moles of HNO3 per liter times 1 mole of H plus per 1 mole of HNO3 times 0 0.350 liters. Again, we rounded this to three significant figures to save room. The number of significant figures in the answer is limited by the three significant figures in 0 0.100 molar. The answer comes out to 0 0.0350 moles. So the initial moles of H plus added is 0 0.0350 moles. Notice that in preserving three significant figures, both of these have four decimal places. Comparing the initial moles of OH minus with the initial moles of H plus, we see that we have more moles of OH minus than of H plus. So the OH minus is in excess in this case. The excess moles of OH minus is 0 0.0600 moles of OH minus minus 0 0.035 moles of H plus, which equals 0 0.0250 moles of OH minus. Notice the numbers we're subtracting both have four decimal places, so our answer must also have four decimal places. When expressed to four decimal places, this number has three significant figures. The zeros to the left of the two are not significant, but the zero after the five is. Since the hydroxide ion is in excess, we calculate its concentration in the final mixture. It is equal to 0 0.0250 moles divided by the total volume of the solution, which is 0 0.150 liters of strontium hydroxide solution plus 0 0.350 liters of HNO3 solution. So the concentration of OH- is 0 0.0250 moles over 0 0.500 liters which equals 0 0.0500 molar. Because we have base in excess, we can calculate the pOH, which is the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration, or the negative log of 0 0.0500, which comes out to 1.301. None of our data or calculations in this problem have less than three significant figures. So the pOH has three significant figures, or three decimal places. Now we can calculate the pH, which is 14 minus the pOH, or 14 minus 1.301, which is 12.699. This must have three significant figures, so it's expressed to three decimal places. We have now answered the question we set out to answer. The pH of the final mixture is 12.699. This is relatively highly basic which is consistent with the fact that OH- is in excess.